Hello everyone, today we will have a look at the cheapest or one of the cheapest uh, Bluetooth soundbars that you can buy. This one is uh, Anko from Kmart. If you don't know, Anko is the generic brand name for Kmart. And this one cost me 49 bucks only. So let's have a closer look and see if it's any good. Before we unbox it, let's have a look at the packaging. Here is the Enco soundbar. As you can see here, it's uh, mains powered, auxiliary in, and 24 watts total with Bluetooth connectivity. Bluetooth version 5.0. These are the dimensions. Compatible with HDMI arc and treble control can be wall mounted this is all the recycling logos and stuff required to triple a batteries required to verbally I thought it's main power anyways uh, this is a barcode what else we have comes with a remote control and this is the control on the soundbar itself this is a picture of the soundbar let's unbox it and see the soundbar itself This is the user manual and the remote control. Ah, uh, two AA batteries, it's for the remote, I think. We have double sided stickers or uh, no it's not double sided stickers feet maybe rubber feet and this is the user manual the user manual will be scanned if you want to have a look if you want to have a read will be at the end of the video so I thought this is the whole length but as you can see it's not we have a box here for the cables probably so it's shorter this is the sound bar as you can see this is the speaker driver it's visible I think one and that's the other one this is maybe the remote control sensor we don't see any subwoofer so the speakers are not centered one here and one here Anyways, these are the wall mounts. This is the wall mount, and this is the info 12 uh, 18 volts input, and this is the input and output the interface. We have the DC input line in and the HDMI this is rubber 
on off input select and the volume control nothing on this side I don't see any screws so I don't know if we can take it apart anyways let's see what's inside this small box power adapter maybe This is the power adapter, which is uh, 18 volt, 1.33 amps. Barrel jack and the cable for the auxiliary input. No HDMI cable. So let's test it and see how rich the sound is. Okay, let's connect it and first we'll try to test the Bluetooth. Let's get some batteries here. I hope these work. Yeah. Working. So with the remote, uh, you need the remote to control the equalizer, the bass and the treble control, the mute all the other functions you can access them from the unit itself everything is connected power on bluetooth mode Power off. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Let's connect to Bluetooth. So um, probably this one is the one. Connected. Okay. Oops. So that was the equalizer. But I don't Music. see. I don't see. I don't hear any change of the movie. We have three options: movie, voice, music, voice and music. Go! Now I will try the treble. Then I will try the the base yeah we'll try the triple control first
this is the HDMI ARC or ARC mode auxiliary mode the auxiliary mode Bluetooth mode and the Bluetooth connected Go! Power off. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Go. Connected. Everything you need to turn this. Is very important to us. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's loud. It's very loud. Not very loud, but it's loud enough. But I don't like uh, the the sound effects when you get when you reach this if you reach the end of the volume or whatever and it interrupts the the music that's are playing. Into this is powered by Zendesk. Whether it's lost items, long hold times, the wrong size, unexpected delays, uh, everything you need to get from unhappy customers. Sound is very annoying. That's enough. Uh... Power off. Yeah, so yes, yeah, uh, I think maybe we need to try these. Power on. Bluetooth mode. ARC mode. Auxiliary mode. Bluetooth mode. It's nice that uh, when it's Bluetooth, uh, the, the the LED light is blue. ARC mode. ARC mode, it's violet. Auxiliary mode. And the auxiliary is green. And next to it here, I don't know if it's visible, but this, is, if you can see, this is the the IR sensor for the remote. But uh, there is nothing here. There are three lines or four, as you can see here, like vent or something. I don't know what is in here. I think it's a screw or something. This is one speaker driver. So all this is empty. There is no speaker here. You have one here. tricky to show it on the camera you can see one here and one at the end which is here yeah so the speakers are the speaker drivers one here and one here and all this is empty and this is a square here which is a it maybe it's a Subwoofer, but I don't think so. It's probably just a vent. Yeah, I wish that they put the speakers here so you have a 
a distance between the two drivers anyways it is what it is it's uh, 49 bucks so it's cheap sound quality not bad I guess we need to test it next to the TV okay I have it connected to the TV I don't have uh, the HDMI arc cable so I connect it to auxiliary and the actually the sound coming from the TV is louder than the speaker because this is an older model an old TV and it has a good speakers unlike the modern ones but there is one issue let's go to uh, something uh, quite uh, if you can hear there is a they say the average person uses only 10% of their brain power some use more oh. some use less just go to as you can hear there is a strange noise coming from the speaker as if it's like a heart beat heart beating very slow disconnected it from the TV the sound is gone so maybe the sound is coming from the TV box or from the TV itself so anyways I'm connecting it to auxiliary I'm connecting to auxiliary input yeah this annoying sound So it's not the best experience. You can learn a lot about someone from their mixtape. <laughs> Extraordinary people. Perfect song to write this song. Share five life changing songs. This changed everything. Take Anyways, Stream switch, now. It switch it off. So I tried to get this out so I can reach the screws, but uh, it's very hard. Uh, it will be damaged if I force it. But we do have uh, four screws here on this back area. So we'll take this apart and see what's underneath. We have four screws here. Let's open it from this side and see what we get. So these are the vents that we saw earlier. Is they are just uh, connected now to nothing. And these two holes for the LED light and the IR sensor. And this is sealed for the sound. And at the end, at this end, there is uh, the, the control. And this is the board itself. That's pretty much everything. Okay.
that's everything. All of the chips, if you want to have a little bit read. These are the chips. Very simple. And you can see the, this is the antenna for the Bluetooth. So probably this is the Bluetooth controller. Maybe this is the amplification. There are extra holes that are being blocked for future or upgrade or for different models. So that's it. Well, I think it's a, it's okay for the price. 50 bucks or 49. It's, it's cheap. Even though it's not the best. Thank you for watching. And now if you have if you want to have a read, this is the user manual. Okay, before we go, I just wanted to show you that I've been using it for less than half an hour and this and this rubber piece is already dusty. It's a dust magnet. It has this texture almost like gooey. Not gooey, but uh, yeah, it's like oily. As you can see, it's very dirty. I don't like that. Anyways, thank you for watching. <laughs>